Shujana Felvegi is from Szeged, a small university town in southeastern Hungary. However, like a lot of people, Shujana has moved abroad in order to find work. She now lives in Oxford, where she has lived for more than four years. Here, she talks about her life and work in a new country. What did you do in Hungary? I taught English and German in the secondary school. Why did you move to England? Um, at that time, I felt that I needed a change, a change of environment, and I wanted to test my skills, what I can achieve abroad, a um, bit of adventure. Can you describe your current role? Um, at the moment, I'm doing software testing. I do manual software testing. We test digital products of OUP. So we have to make sure that everything works the way they're supposed to. Do you think moving to England has improved your career prospects? I think my career prospects have improved, especially if I move back to Hungary. I can show that I lived abroad, I um, obtained these skills in the UK, my English is really fluent. So in Hungary, definitely it will be an advantage. Here in the UK, not necessarily. I don't think I would have been able to change jobs that easily in Hungary if I had stayed there, because there aren't that many jobs available, unfortunately. So I think I would have got stuck in my teaching role if I had stayed there. Moving to a bigger country has definitely helped my job prospects because a bigger country means bigger companies, more opportunities, more options. How difficult is it to get a job in Hungary at the moment? In Hungary, the job situation is not the best at the moment, unfortunately. So there are quite a lot of people who move abroad, mainly Germany, Austria, the UK, and they try their luck there. Usually after a few years, they want to go home because of family and friends. Um, but I know quite a few people who have been here for a good 10 years, but they are still planning to go home eventually. What are the major differences between living in Hungary and England? I think one of the major differences is the cost of living. Here everything is so expensive. Renting a flat on your own is almost impossible. The bills are really expensive. Council tax is really expensive. Back in Hungary, renting your own place is more affordable. What about differences in the way people work? A typical working day in Hungary is eight hours plus lunch break. Here in the UK, it's usually seven, seven and a half hours plus lunch break. So working hours are longer in Hungary. And also people start work at eight o'clock or latest 8.30. And here in the UK, nine, nine thirty, ten. 10. It depends what kind of company you work for. And also here in the UK, people are more willing to commute to work. They sit in their cars for 40 minutes every day. In Hungary, people would probably try to find a flat in that town where they worked instead of commuting every single day. Would you like to move back to Hungary? Um, I'm not sure. It depends how things work out here in the UK. I might move back. I don't know yet. I don't think I will move anywhere else because starting anew somewhere it's quite difficult it it can be really nerve-wracking finding a place of your own to live in uh, finding a job opening a bank account all those official things it can be quite tricky and difficult how about in your career what would you like to do in the future i think in the future i would want to develop as a software tester but maybe in 10 years' time I will do something completely different because I'm interested in quite a few things. So we'll see.